What's up guys, today we'll be doing an unboxing of a uh, watch by an Indian micro brand named Ajwain. Uh, as I go through the unboxing, I'll talk about what's so special about the brand, what's so special about the watch. Now, Ajwain is a Indian uh, micro brand started by uh, someone named Vikram Narula. All of their watches are uh, themed behind Indian freedom struggle, Indian Defense Forces, things like that, giving them a patriotic feel. Uh, and as far as I know, all of them are limited editions. This one in particular has a total of 360 pieces, I believe. And hence, if you want to grab one, you, I, you should grab one as soon as possible. The reason I chose this in particular is because I wanted an Indian watch, like completely made in India which most of their watches are good except they use a seagull movement which the watch community would be knowing is a chinese based movement uh, of course it's a based on a swiss movement uh, bought by the chinese but that's a different story there's another watch of theirs which is uh, using an hmt movement could have gone for that but i like this one more anyhow uh, what is a chain right Ajwain, as you can see, the name of the brand. This is a type of seed, I believe, and it is also known as caraway. So that is what it is. I am not sure why the brand was decided to name be named that, but it stands for Analog Jeweled Watches and Instruments Network. Uh, anyhow, let's get to the unboxing and. Let's get to the watch itself and talk about it, right? This is the presentation. It's worth noting, noting that it also comes in a ammo box, decommissioned Indian Army ammo box, but I decided to go for the normal wooden box, which is pretty decent. As you can see, it's real wood. Good uh, hook out here. Oh yeah, before I get to it, a quick wristwatch check. Wearing the Bulova Accutron and a pearl on strap. Pretty comfortable. This strap is by a website called Movie Straps. Yeah, good quality strap. Anyhow, let's get to it. So, this is the warranty card. It's got my name, date, the model, and period of warranty, which is two years. Putting this aside, it's a good amount of foam in there. This is how thick it is, pretty good. Here is the watch itself. This is an additional crystal, I believe. I am opening it now for the first time. Let's see. Oh, yes, this is an additional crystal. Good touch by the company. Uh, taking this off now what's so good about this watch right or why I decided to choose it uh, this watch is called khaki as you can see khaki is a color which is used by Indian forces a lot now it is used by Indian uh, police as well as uh, the military so, as you can see, it says khaki out there, and the, the eye is a knife, not sure how good it is being picked up. This may come off as a blue color, but it is actually supposed to be gray, it's bluish gray. They have other colors which are green and olive green. I have my share of green watches, so to speak, so, namely, but decide to get this one. This is the stealth edition. Uh, there are two editions basically of all of these khaki watches. One is a regular, uh, you know, stainless steel, and this is the stealth edition with PBD applied black coating on it. This uses a Alvin A6300 movement, which is, I suppose, it's a manually bound movement, so I guess it was bound, it's not exactly running at the moment, but uh, let's wind it actually.
as you can see it's since it's manual line it's incredibly thin it's 40 mm watch and that's about it let's set the time checking the accurate of course uh, the hands are applied markers and they are also bronze in color which gives it a good uh, good touch and yeah that's about right the second hand uses a red counterbalance let me take off the plastic strap actually so you can see it better plastic wrap sorry yeah this uses a acrylic glass as you can see domed glass so yeah the second hand has a red round counterbalance which looks quite nice this is the case back this is some historic army dates uh, and uh, regiments 13 Komoran uh, this is I assume this is the coordinates for raising la now what that is is this watch like I said comes in two, two more colors they have named the watches uh, on specific places this one uh Rizengla is basically an indian line of control with china in ladakh i believe so yeah that is what they have named it anyhow uh, coming to the moment this uses an olvin uh 6300 a6300 moment which was developed uh, by a company named olvin uh, which is based in hyderabad india with collaboration with Seiko so this has that going for it it uses 20 mm lugs now this has super luminova I believe although I currently don't have a phone since I'm recording on mine so I'm not sure if I can show that but as you can see it's uh, the, the pips out here are doomed of course and okay yeah and coming to that uh this has the the moment beats at 21600 bph and of course as you saw it comes with two years of warranty now i wasn't crazy on the strap which was shown in in the promotional material so i asked if they could switch it out they very kindly obliged and asked me to ask me choose a strap from the side i chose this uh, for top grain leather one from I believe ostrich leather from South Africa it's pretty very supple for a new strap and uh, I'm quite surprised to see that they have very kindly switched out the buckle as well which is going with the black top theme I didn't think they would do that but they did it took me about a week to get it delivered after the order so quite impressed now let's put it on and over a short first time putting it on it's very comfortable so as you can see I have a 6.75 inch wrist so this is how it sits on my wrist yeah I mean this watch is more about the emotion rather than going for accuracy or anything else like that Quite a unique watch uh, like i said limited to 360 pieces pretty good value for money i'm quite happy with it actually it's something i don't think will ever leave my collection of course i might switch out the strap eventually put it on nato or something going with the black dot theme so yeah that's about it pretty i had an intent for it too but nice contrast between the dial and the the, the band of the accutron well that's been it wanted to shed some light on my local business hope you like the watch and the video and hope you show some support to the company of course how much this cost is uh with the put in box in question right it cost me uh 10,950 indian rupees uh, which is about 11,000 and if you go with the military ammo box it would cost you 12,950 rupees but i didn't have any use for it 
anyhow it's nice wearing a piece of the country something produced completely in the country on your wrist so yeah that's about it peace out guys like and subscribe